What's up guys, Levin here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Fury Warrior. Um, this is the talents that I'm running right here, and I am running mostly a, a mastery versatility build. I'm not going to go crit on Fury anymore. Um, I think Cold Steel Hot Blood is absolute garbage in PvP unless you are geared out of your mind. And I actually think I'm going to uh, play a decently... No, a, a, a decent spec with the versatility mastery on S Fury. Let's see if we can get in here and uh, show off some of our damage. But my guess is we're not because we're actually in some crazy ass horde pre made, and they have a bunch of really, really geared 2200 players uh, here. It's, it's making me think about going horde right now, honestly. Um, I do have a few horde. I have uh, a 120 shaman and a 120 paladin. But honestly, I, I don't really feel like uh, paying that money. Blizzard already is about to have me server transfer again to Sargeras, and we'll see how that goes. Good grip by that uh, priest right there. We keep, or actually, maybe it was this DK that gripped me. Huh? I didn't even see. Getting all these guys with our dragon roar into rampages. Just keep this Windwalker slowed off my teammates right here. I feel like Fury does do good damage to um, leather and cloth wearers, but it struggles against plate unless you have a bunch of gushing stacks. Let's see if I can hit this druid healer in the back here. He doesn't have much gear. We have a siege breaker coming up. I'm going to hit him with a siege breaker rampage combo to another rampage, and we're going to stack up our, uh, our what's it called? Pulver pulverizing blows. That's what it's called. Running Pulverizing Blows and a bunch of other Rampage damage increasing traits. I'm gonna slow everyone here, we're actually gonna fear the entire team. How did that Warlock not get hit by my fear? Very curious. With the Dragon's Roar. Have uh, no teammates around us, unfortunately. I'm gonna trinket out of this and we're gonna leap as far as we can. Back in the healer range. Maybe he can get us up. Hear me, please! I got all these imps on me. Where's this guy? He's not targeting me yet. He's still not targeting me. He's still not targeting me. Please target me, Mr. Healer. Mr. Healer! Oh, there we go. Took him a little bit, but he, uh, he realized. All right, we're gonna hit this guy with a Siege Breaker Rampage into a uh, slow. Swap onto the DK right here. Where's the FC? Did he actually make it across? Of course he did. This guy with the Dragon's Roar, keep him, uh, keep him slowed off our Mistweaver. See their Windwalkers going right by. We're just gonna stay on this DK, I guess. We can, uh, get the Mistweaver to peel out. What was that heal? Is that a uh, third one potion I saw there? Oh. oh, something just hit really hard right there. Slow this guy. There's another healer headed towards the flag room right now. Of recklessness, we might as well pop it. It's very uh, weak cooldown now. I missed when it was like 100% and then even 50% increased crit. That was nutty. Fury, though, nowadays is just a, uh, a damage monster. Like, you have no particular, uh, no particular way to kill people other than uptime and damage. You don't really have the CC. What I, what I feel like Fury is, is it's like almost a little bit worse version of what Windwalker monks are right now. Alright, let's see, where is this guy? Is he above? The hell? Oh, I know where he is. He is on the second floor. So we're just gonna run up there and jump down. Oh, he's dead. Nice, we got him. Unfortunately, the flag. See, yeah, hopefully the shaman can pick it up right here. Yep. Our lethal strikes got that guy with the charge, but we didn't get the reaping reset. Yeah, our damage is gonna look pretty low. We got these uh, really, really geared shadow priests and um, elemental shamans in this game. Hit him with the Dragon's Roar, maybe hit him with a slow, yep, got him out of stealth, we're gonna stun him up, maybe get the Reaping Reset, but someone else unfortunately had their Reaping ready. Let's see, we got 
this DK up here. We went to find out where the healers were. Here he is. Hit him with a slow on his trinket. He got cloned, unfortunately. Out of that clone, we're gonna reslow him. We're actually gonna charge him. Hit him with the blood thirst to clear our slows. Pop wreck into a siege breaker rampage. Dragon's roar, and he just explodes. And now we're just gonna do our best to stick on uh, everyone right here and heal our teammates while he runs across with the flag. We do have a, a fear coming up, but everyone's gonna be DR'd because of that priest fear right there. Just gonna keep this guy uh, feared or slowed. Kick the Vampiric Touch. I'm gonna focus on Azerite Beam, so I'm gonna hit him with the uh, stun right there. We're gonna swap over to the Rogue, hit these guys with the Fear Bomb. Hopefully our FC can, uh, can make it up there. Make sure everyone's still slowed. I'm gonna get back on the Shadow Priest. Unfortunately, we did not get the Reaping Reset right there, so we're just gonna press it on the um, Residue again. Here he is. Hit everyone with a slow. A siege Breaker into a stun on this Residue, Rampage, and Raging Blow Spam. I don't know about anyone else if you're like an older Fury Warrior, but I do miss the days of when Raging Blow hit really, really hard. If anyone remembers in Kata, uh, Raging Blow was like such a big nuke, and also I believe uh, Wrath of Lich King as well just hit so hard. This guy with the root on his uh, little charge away. Oh, someone's reaping. Just chunked that guy for like half his health. That was nuts. I think we might just farm him at the graveyard. Look at this. This is this is beautiful. Team that I don't have to like super, super worry about. Siege Breaker, Rampage. Hit this guy with the slow. Maybe we can get a reaping right here. Let's see. Reaping. How did I not get that reset? That's nuts. Alright, we're gonna go after the really geared Windwalker Monk right here. This guy actually has 600k health with a with just a well-fed buff. That's nuts. Is it tryhard? He has a uh, battle scarred augmentation on. I'm gonna jump down. A Berserker there. There is. Alright, whenever he jumps down, I'm going to just. Pop all my cooldowns and slay this guy. <laughs> he jumped and took like almost half his health and damage. That's funny. Reaping. Ooh, we actually got the reset right there. I'm gonna fear this guy just so I can get on him. And with the bloodthirst rampage or bloodthirst. Uh, ooh. Just on this rogue. Now we hit this rogue with our cooldowns. Execute. Honestly, possibly one of my first executes this game. And the damage numbers didn't even show. What's this guy? What are you? Are you an actual prop paladin? Oh, wow. I thought he was using a dagger for a second. That's a teeny sword. Alright, let's go join the fun over here with our last 10 seconds of the, of the Berserker buff. Slow, Siege Breaker, Pop Wreck here. Hit this guy with a Rampage before he... Of course, someone reaping flames him. Get back on this Windwalker Monk from earlier. Hit this guy with the Rampage uh, Dragon's Roar. He's Fist of Fearing, so most of it will get parried. I'm gonna stun him up on that. He calmed someone, but it broke instantly. Jeez. This team's damage is absolutely nuts. Rampage with Heroism feels so good. It's just so quick. Ooh, got the Reaping Reset on that one. We're going to leap all the way up onto this guy. Hit this guy with the Reaping right here. Oh, he dispersed. Lucky. We're going to charge. Hit him with the slow. We're going to Berserker Rage out of the fear. Kick his Vampiric Touch into a Rampage Dragon's Roar. Hit this other warrior with the slow. We're going to Raging Blow him twice to get our uh, regen up. Swap over to the Wrestler Druid. Kick him on his cast. Uh, just kidding. He canceled it or someone else got him. Don't bolt him for the kill. This is a good old fashioned graveyard farm. How did, of all these people here, how was I the one that actually managed to get hit by that trap? That's nuts. All right, we got three seconds before we can leap up there. This rogue will kindly just walk right down. Here we go, we're gonna, 
I guess we can't leave. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we chunked that guy with our uh, Twilight Dev. We're going to kick him on the Vampiric Touch, trinket out of that. Might have to use some defensives here. We're going to hit the Arrestor Druid, pop our wreck. Ooh, now we got the big cleave damage going on. Oh, this, this is what Warzone Culture is meant for. The Graveyard Camp. Dude, summoning a Demonic Tyrant. No, thank you. That's scary. The Reaping re Reset on that Priest right there. Got one more second. Right. Reaping Warrior. And then... <laughs> we gotta loot the bodies because they're actually not gonna res. That's funny. All the bodies. How does my eye spawn on a uh, body loot? It's nuts. Actually, want to summon this Shadow Priest. It's a little bit of gear, which makes him slightly scary. A bit slow on everybody right here. Get the rampages out. Shadow Word Void. Is that the PVE talent that you're supposed to take as Shadow? I think it might be. But yeah, I think that's the Mind Blast PVE talent. Who wants to run that? No procs, no fun. Seems the entire team has moved on from me, so I might be in a little bit of trouble here. I'm gonna fear. Beautiful. All right, we got 12 kills, no deaths, 8.1 million damage, 3.7 million healing. Not too bad for a pretty undergeared warrior. 455 item level. I guess that's not super undergeared, but a lot of people are like up there at 475 now, and they got their 600k health without the stand buffs of well fed. But that was fun. Also, I I absolutely love my warrior's transmog. Um, except ignore those wrists. I don't know why those wrists are, uh, are that color. They're supposed to be the elite color. I guess I swapped them out with a different pre piece when I was uh, coming in. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next video.